Hello, hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Volvo Christian. And also welcome to this Volkswagen ID bus. Just look at this. I'm so amazed by the Volkswagen ID bus. And also uh, the Volkswagen's uh, future lineup. I picked up this car yesterday from Möller Bil at Jessheim. So a huge thanks to them for providing this bus so I could take it for a road trip today to get to know the Volkswagen brand and also the ID bus. As I said, I'm uh, really intrigued by the future lineup uh, of Volkswagen and uh, this bus, but more on that later. In just a few minutes, I will be uh, heading towards Beitostölen. It's a couple of hours away. But now I just topped up at the Kopple charging station here at Nadderud. Kopple are my new sponsor here on the channel. So a huge thanks to Kopple for providing me with electricity for this test. As I said, I'm here at Nadderud. And here they have a huge charging station. We got the, the double 180 kilowatt charger here. Then we have a double 150 charger. And the green one are a double 125 kilowatt chargers. And then we, then we have a couple of uh, poles over there with 22 kilowatt type 2 chargers. So a huge station here at Nadderud Hall. And I got pretty decent speed with this ID bus all the way up to 100%. It was charging at like 32 kilowatt when uh, I reached the uh, 99% state of charge. I was connected to the green one earlier, but I couldn't occupy it uh, to make this video. So I had to move over to let other cars come. But let's now jump in. It's really cold today. But as I said, huge thanks to Kopple that is my uh, sponsor here on the channel. Let's now jump in the ID bus. <laughs> just look at this. <laughs> I have to just climb up. So, as you see, my state of charge are now 100%. Estimated range of 318 kilometers. The WLTP figures of the ID bus of 418 kilometers. Let's now let's see if you can see this display. No, I have to see it also. We got a glare from the sun. Um, vehicle, as you see, I reset the trip computer. My destination. Oh, if we just, we are here, just outside Oslo. Destination are Beitostöl, 213 kilometers away. But maybe I will bail out here at Fagernes. Depends on the time aspect. I need to get back as well. Uh, so that's the plan route. You see, 100%. Um, yeah. And in this setup, right now, the ID bus are only available with rear wheel drive. It's a 205 uh, horsepower engine connected to the rear wheel. But eventually, our all-wheel drive version will come. The battery, it's a 882 kilowatt hours. And as I said, WLTP on 418 kilometers. So I'm really excited to try this out. As you see, it's a pretty spacious uh, interior and cabin. Couple of, let's see if I can get the lights back on. Pretty spacious with shelves and different storage possibilities. And as you see, wheel captain chairs with armrest on both sides in addition to on the door. So this is gonna be uh, pretty good. I'm super excited. So let's put it in drive or maybe put it in reverse and then I will be heading off to Beitostöl.
Hello again. I've made it to uh, Farganas. I bailed out here. It's getting uh, pretty dark as you can see. I've just connected to uh, the Kopple charger here at uh, Farganas. 180 kilowatt. But sadly I can't see how much uh, or what speed I'm getting. But now it's 32% at connected at uh, 26 or 27 percent so we are juicing up here at the 180 kilowatt charger i will afterwards uh, be heading back to uh, towards yes time to deliver back the bus and then it's uh, time to get home again but in the, in the beginning of the video i said we were going to come back to why i was so excited about the bus Uh, and we will talk slightly about that now. It's really cold outside, but it's a beautiful uh, location here at Farganes. Sadly, it got uh, dark before I arrived. I stopped uh, like 10 minutes ago to make um, a video, exterior and interior video, about the ID bus. So that will also come. <laughs> but as I said, the Volkswagen ID bus. Why am I so excited? It's just uh, the design, overall design. It has a really strong appeal to me. It's a, new, it's a unique uh, design. And I find this very appealing. Because this appeals to the adventurer within me. This is a car to take on adventures. Just picture this with a ski guard roof box, maybe a mountain bike uh, next to it. And back in your car, you have your uh, your bed, so you can stop wherever you want and sleep in the car because there's so much space. Let's see if we can fold down this one-handed. When you fold down the seats, you get a completely flat floor with this optional um, floor here. Just picture this with a mattress. You can sleep wherever you want on your adventure, either if it's... Um, let's just close up the door again. There's a button here. Um, if it's uh, water sports activities, or if it's uh, skiing or mountain bike, this is the car to bring. Or camping. Just picture this while well, camping. So much space available. And you can have your foldable... Um, like a inflatable bed with you or a mattress rolled together this is a car for adventures and that's super appealing I've always been amazed by I have to go inside it's just so goddamn cold on my fingers oh shit oh it's too damn cold Sadly, I forgot my gloves in uh, the poster. Holy crap, it's cold. <sighs> Let's see if I can turn down the fan. It's crazy cold, but we turn it off for the video. <sighs> but as I said, I'm super amazed by the ID bus. Ever since the first time I saw it, Actually, I remember a yellow one at Gool. I think that was the first time I saw it live. I can put in a picture of that one. And as instantly when I saw it, this has to be the coolest car of all the cars coming in 2022 and also 2023. Just the, let's get on the lights again. It is so um, unique in its exterior design. It's a real head turner and it's a awesome modern interpretation of the old T1 classic it's such a cool car and I said it then that that was the coolest car in 2022 and actually a few days ago the ID bus got uh, branded or um, it got um, it won an award from several Norwegian um, car Arctic, uh, car journalists and magazines giving it the car of the year 2023 ID bus. So this is the car of the year and I totally agree with them. Both in design, in exterior and interior. 
And I visited the E-Car Expo um, earlier this month. Um, and I looked at the ID bus once again, both the, the regular one and also the passenger one and the cargo version. I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm just, just so cold. <laughs> and I was super amazed by the ID bus. And I thought then I just had to book a test drive. I had to get to know the Volkswagen brand and the ID bus. What is this car all about? Is it just the hype and the exterior and the design elements or is it actually a pretty awesome car? Um, so I had just had to book a test drive. So I visited Muller uh, Biel at YesM and book this test drive because this is very appealing to me and I think one day I will be ordering myself an ID bus maybe not now because it's only available in rear wheel drive and I've saw it yesterday and also today when driving on snow it's quite challenging you get a bunch of wheel spin and it's um, it's tail happy so out of roundabouts intersections um, the, the rear end comes out. Uh, and you have to learn to um, drive with that character. Once you know it, you adjust. But I would prefer all-wheel drive um, every day of the week because I much wheel spin, uh, even if I'm gently on the, the accelerator pedal or as Volkswagen call it, the play and pause. And I don't know if you can see this. No, it's too dark. But it's a play icon on the accelerator pedal. I think it's too tail happy. Uh, but let's go over to the consumption so I won't forget that one. Um, let's see, where was I? Um, so I took it for a test drive and I have to say I'm super amazed by it. It's not as comfortable in the suspension as I would prefer it to be. But the driving um, sensation and the driving position you get are actually very good. You sit really high and even Volvo's XC90 you have to look down on the XC90 because you sit so high commanding and you have very good visibility with this A-pillar window. Um, it's pretty long way up to the windshield. You can if you stretch it pretty massive dash dashboard but the visibility as you see if I turn around really good maybe not out of the rear window right now it's pretty dirty but the visibility are very good so I'm super glad that I booked a test drive um, and another reason why I wanted to get to know the Volkswagen brand because at the Eco Expo there was also something else look at this one the space vision a Volkswagen full electric wagon the wagon aren't dead luckily this is this looks super exciting like the new Volkswagen Passat really cool exterior design and the interior was just amazing and this one is coming probably next year or at least they will show it or present it next year and it will come um, either late 23 or early 24 at least as far as I know so the Volkswagen brand I think it's very um, it's a good brand you have to keep your eyes on uh, because they make pretty good cars it's been a long time since I've um, driven in a Volkswagen actually back to the I think it was the ID3 I drove last time and then the e-golf before that one but I'm super uh, intrigued by the Volkswagen brand uh, mostly because of the bus and then the space vision I'm so glad that we get finally wagons back uh, Audi also has an um, Audi R6 concept uh, estate and that one also looks wicked uh, but let's check the consumption before we're stepping out again in the cold so my state of charge was 25 or 26 when I connected now it's at 47 um, but I've driven 180 kilometers from Oslo to uh, Faganes consumption 32.1 
and I will put in the um, estimated range with that consumption. But bear in mind that I have uh, had the climate on at pretty high temperatures uh, from time to time. Uh, at least after I stepped outside for uh, pictures or videos or uh, just a little um, uh, pieced up. It was so cold that I increased the temperature to uh, like 27, 28 degrees. And as you see now, it's minus 9.5 degrees. It has been wet roads for most of the trip, but now uh, the last hour or so, it's been um, covered in snow. So 32.1 aren't actually too bad, uh, considering that this is a huge van. But now it's time to step out for some final thoughts. You can also see the interior uh, lights here in the doors. And one thing I do have to uh, give credits to is this armrest. It's been so relaxing to have an uh, armrest on both sides. I just highly recommend to give um, the ID bus uh, a test. Test it out for yourself. But as I said uh, earlier, for me, I have to go for the all wheel drive version. Because rear wheel drive uh, is not the best on these conditions. At least not for my driving style. But the design is so appealing and this, yeah, as I said earlier, it appeals to the adventurer in me. Go out on an adventure, uh, put all your things, all your crap in, uh, in the rear. Or maybe you can also, um, because as I said in the previous video about this, uh, that's coming after uh, this one, I was not amazed by the stereo. But here you have a ton of room to put in some crazy, let's see if I can find a key. Some crazy aftermarket stereo. I'm not sure where the key is. I have to do this by touch. Put in some crazy stereo back in here. I'm waiting for the first one to um, put in some uh, crazy speakers in this one. But this is so appealing from every aspect. But mostly to the adventurer in me. Either go mountain biking, go uh, cross country skiing, or just chill out the beach. This is the car to bring. So that was it. I will now be uh, charging up in order to reach my next uh, destination. Probably have to uh, give it a little uh, charge before I deliver it back to uh, Möllerbil Yesheim. Here now we can see the play and pause button on the accelerator and brake pedal. Let's see, open up. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I wish the suspension was slightly softer. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but that's the one thing that I'm not a fan of. I wish it was slightly softer suspension. I wish the stereo was better and these buttons, yeah, but more on that in the next video. But overall, I'm super pleased and I'm really glad that I uh, took this out for a test. But now it's time to uh, put in the next uh, destination. And since my video are sponsored by Kopla, I will direct myself to Kopla at Nonne Star. Nonne. Let's see if I can write Nannesta. Kopla Nannesta, 129 kilometers away. I will just tap it up there. Let's see if we can get some lights on again. So start. And let's see here. Two hours and 45 minutes until I get there. And what's the... It estimates 20% at arrival. I'm not sure if that is true because it was also 20% before I started this charging session. So this is probably bugged or something. Or maybe I have to... Yeah, I'm not sure. Either way, I will go to this uh, non-Nesta coupler station and charge it up before I deliver it back to Müller Biel. So I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed this video 
and as always i appreciate every like comment and if you also consider subscribing to my page so that's it for this time see you guys in another video take care and bye bye